two or three years ago, I just started getting slow. My ability to move my hands and arms and body was just slow. I felt like the way you'd feel, like what you might call bonking. You know, if you run 20 miles into a marathon and you suddenly feel like I am just totally out of gas. And I felt like that. Right now, the big concern for me is dystonia. And it's a violent and unpredictable and uncontrollable cramping and flexing of my foot. It's amazingly incapacitating. Like if I'm walking, I can't walk anymore. And so it has the potential to stop me from working. When Irene Litvan first said, hey, we can be happy with the diagnosis of Parkinson's, you know, I, um, I actually did feel relief in the sense that it was like, okay, instead of this constant, like what the hell is going wrong with me, now there's a name for it and it can be, um, I don't know, you know, I can start to work on it in some way and, you know, let's research this thing and learn all about it and figure it out. And you realize that, okay, this is not going away. This is a terminal thing that's going to get, probably going to get worse. And so, you know, that's, that's heavy at first. I, I did get hit by a couple of days where I was just like, why am I doing anything? You know, why get up and go to the office or, you know, why even get up at all? And then you realize, like, okay, so all, life is also terminal in that sense, you know, so. The whole feeling of progressive illness is that today could be like the best day for the rest of my life, you know, versus, you know, I'm building up to something, I'm getting in shape to do Catalina or something, you know, whatever it is. No, this is today, man, this could be it, and this, this is pretty, pretty damn good. But then two days ago, I was, like, struggling to walk from our hotel to a restaurant, you know, and I was realizing, like, you know, it can just go either way. They want you to slow down and sit around and uh, want you to, con to compress and withdraw. You know, and I think that the way to approach it is just to go the opposite direction and see what happens. When you stretch, then you get the symptoms more. So that's why I mean by it wants you to, because if you stay in here where the symptoms are minimized, you're leaning forward, you're tucked, you're sort of tucked in and that everything is sort of more comfortable feeling. But when you get up into here and you're reaching and stretching, your hand, you can feel my hands start to shake because of that. And so, you know, it's a constant sort of, you know, work to, to stretch out into the, into the world a little bit, but good. My whole basis of my life had been about being good at stuff. You know, like being smart, capable, attractive, uh, funny, you know, all these characteristics that, that are all external, you know, and I just, uh, everything in my life had been all about being good. And, and so now it's a realization that it's not going to be that way. Um, and so now what? You know, it's just, and so at first I thought like, well, it's the end because that's, that's what I do is I put on a, a great show and I'm good at stuff. Um, and then, you know, so in the last year I've been just thinking about, well, okay, so now what? Like, what is, uh, what am I about? And so I think that that is the most incredible gift that you can get at this age when we're all sort of entrenched in how we are. We've always been that way. And now it's like, okay, you're not going to be that way anymore. You know, okay, so what, what you get to choose. You know, you get, to, you get to choose what is going to be the way that I define myself and the way that I respond to the world, etc. You know, I'm going to be bad at things. I'm going to be slow. I'm going to be, uh, um, I have a hard time making decisions, all these crazy things I used to be really good at. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I, I'm not working on my, on my show nearly as much. I put a, I'm realizing how much energy I put into my, my show always how much that kept me away from people and away from experiencing the world. You know, and now that that's, so now it's like all that I have is that, and it's awesome. So it's crazy. So it ends up actually being, like I wouldn't take it back at this point.